How's it going so far? Uh, it's going pretty well. I'm um, learning the offense more. You know, we're getting kind of into a like rhythm. You know what I'm saying? I'm um, just getting used to it. How big? How how much of a transition has it been with this new? Uh, you know, obviously new offensive coordinator, new offense. Yeah, it's, de it's definitely different. Different style of offense. Um, I would say we have like more like complicated like concepts and stuff like that. Um, and just like the style of practice is pretty different from how it used to be, but it's headed in the right direction. So like having a more robust wealth of knowledge at the position you've got, you know, obviously you already had Foster, but have the enemy as a former running back and also a new running backs coach. Uh, how much more wealth of knowledge are, are you getting at that position? Uh, yeah, the fact that we have like a lot of, you know, a lot of running, a lot of former running backs on staff uh, helps us a lot because, you know, every now and then Coach Foster will come and coach me like on specific stuff I need to work on as far as being a running back and also Coach B enemy will as well. So, you know, it's just, it's better to have more running backs in the system. It makes it kind of easier for all of us. So yeah. Do you, do you feel more eyes on you from all those all those oh, running backs? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you mentioned practice a little bit different. Um, is that more competitive periods, more team periods, mm -hmm. longer team periods? Yeah, longer. It's like longer team periods. Way more competitive. Just the, the vibes is better out here. Like you know, everybody. It seems like everybody's happier, and which is good for us. We're heading in the right direction. Is that kind of the enthusiasm piece of the uh, diary? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. What's well, it like having Keegan back? Oh yeah, uh, Keegan, that's my guy, man. We're going to do some big things this year. Uh, you know, a good one-two punch combo with me and him. Uh, we should be really good this year. Did you help re-recruit him after he went in the portal? <laughs> uh, yeah, I tried, to, I tried to hit him up a little bit, you know. I didn't want my guy to leave, so, you know, we got him back, so that's good. Is there any particular part of this uh, new offense that's taken a little bit more time to get used to uh, as spring has gone on? Uh, for me, I would say probably like, you know, it's, it's different footwork on like different plays and stuff, you know, uh, different type of footwork I've never done before. It's more advanced, but I know it'll help me for the future. Is it, is it more fullback uh, work with uh, Anthony kind of running at fullback? Is that a big change for you guys at tailback? Uh, not really. I mean, well, it's complicated because we all have to know like both, like just right. in case of anything. So it is, it is more complicated, but that will help us in the run game and stuff like that. So, outside of learning a new offense, have you kind of added anything to your game uh, this spring? Um, not necessarily. I'm just trying to you know clean up the uh, errors I had from last year. I'm trying to work on getting my pads down, just keep getting more explosive, stronger, faster. You know, the simple things, and just learning the playbook more. Uh, B enemy seems like he's kind of a more vocal uh, coordinator yeah, than yeah. I think uh, Chip was last year. What, yeah. what what does that add to you guys when he's I'm getting into guys, but also being loud and encouraging and all uh, that? Yeah, it really helps us because you know um, you don't necessarily have to listen to the like I don't want to say you don't have to listen to the tone of his voice. You just listen to the words and like you know listen to what he's saying because what he's saying actually means something. He actually cares about all of us as you can see um, and yeah when he yells at us it's just out of love. He wants us to be better. He know what we can do so that's just what that's about. What have you thought? What's been your assessment of Keegan coming back to the running backs room and how he's looked out here? Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty good man. Yeah, you know Keegan is obviously like the speed back. Uh, you know we complement each other well so we'll be a great duo this season. Isaiah seems like he's made strides uh, behind you guys. Uh, what have you seen out of him so far? Yeah, little Zay. Um, Zay, yeah, he's been getting he's been getting better. He's uh, he's caught up with the speed of like college football as a whole. Um, he's learned the playbook as well. You know, we're all kind of on the same track now that we're like starting the playbook at the same time. You know, he was a freshman, so he right. kind of had to catch up. So we're all at the same pace right now. So it's pretty easier for him now. It's good. We haven't seen a night practice since you guys, since you've been here. What do you right. think that's going to be like uh, tomorrow? Oh man, it's, it's going to be great. You know, like you said, it, it never happened since I've been here. Uh, There's going to be a lot of people out here. Should be a lot of enthusiasm, as you said. Should be fun. What do you remember the most about playing under the lights on Fridays in high school football? Like, what's your best memory? Uh, just like every every Friday, like just the build up to it, like, you know, all day, like in high school, like at school, I'll just be, you know, ready, just listening to music, just getting locked in. You know, just the excitement that's all built up for like what's going to happen later in the night, so. Is that kind of similar to what you're feeling this week? A little, yeah, or? yeah. <laughs> it should bring me back to that like memory tomorrow for sure. Does it feel like there's more of an emphasis on just kind of having fun and, and that? Yeah, part that, of football. yeah, that's like the main. That's like the main thing we talk about. You can't, you can't really do well if you're not having fun. You know, you should always do this sport with a purpose. And you know, it's going to be ups and downs. But you just got, you got to always remember this is the sport you played since you was a little kid. So, yeah.
Coach Foster was saying the other day how he has like an open door policy. So I'm sure you've seen that with him as a running back coach. But what's that like just having the ability to approach him so freely like that? Uh, it, it's good. Like we don't feel like, I don't know, the fact that coach is like that, you know, it, it makes us feel more comfortable. And, you know, we when we're more comfortable. That just makes us like, you know, more makes us more have more enthusiasm to just be out here, and, you know, have a purpose to like doing this stuff. So it's good. Awesome. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.